الحمد لله ام فاين اوكي ايفريثينج از جوينج ويل الحمد لله اول ويل الحمد لله ميس سايما ليتس تيل اس بيت اباوت يور سيلف اباوت يور ورك اند لايف اكسبيرينس هير ان قطر So I'm actually born and raised in Qatar. Uh, I've completed my studies in Qatar, except for my university. I went back to India. Mashallah. I'm a citizen of India, uh, and uh, after my university, I started working here. I'm currently working as well, uh, and my family, my right. kids, everyone is over here. Well, you could say I started my career with a hotel industry, okay. but uh, now I have moved to a separate sector. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose that due to confidentiality reasons. But uh, yeah, I have moved to a higher education sector now. This is actually uh, both me and my husband and my husband's brother. It's a partnership between three of us, That's and so we—it's a, it's a family business. And we are actually big foodies. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea was whenever we used to go out trying different restaurants here, we did not find the actual Indo-Chinese uh, mm -hmm. flavors, you know, that come yeah. from India. It's basically a fusion of Indian and Chinese flavors. Exactly. Uh, we, were, we usually used to be very disappointed with the authenticity of Indian flavors in, in Qatar. Exactly. You want something typically Asian? Yes. So my husband was very passionate about having a restaurant business at least once in his life. So that was his idea and the passion for food for all of us was something which, you know, made us take up this decision. So we've started just uh, in September 2023, yeah. which has not been even a year. But alhamdulillah, I'm glad to say that we've uh, caught the attention of a large uh, group in the market. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I think I wouldn't be wrong if I say that uh, we are now the top competitors mm -hmm. for Indo-Chinese uh, food. It's like I said, it's a fusion between Indian and Chinese flavors. Yeah. Apart from that, the Mughalai, kebabs, grills, mm -hmm. all of this, especially from Mumbai. That's why if you see the tagline of our restaurant is also authentic taste of Mumbai. So this is about Koilas. So like I said, uh, so far we've got a very good product in the market. Uh, yeah. We are talk of the town. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people talk about us, be it our competitors, people who are uh, foodies. If you check our Instagram, our Facebook, mm -hmm. our uh, Google reviews, yeah. There are lots of positive reviews. We've mm -hmm. been maintaining a good rating even on Google reviews, mm -hmm. which for people from the restaurant industry will be aware is very difficult to maintain. Yeah. And uh, so far, like we, we are still developing in a lot of things. We don't come from this type of business. It's absolutely new, but we're all trying to put all our own efforts of you know the understanding of the Qatar market, understanding about food, and with the help of the team and you know the chefs the yeah. people who are helping us uh, run the business. So like I said, this is first of all a family business. Mm -hmm. The ownership is between the family. Mm -hmm. The ones who are running the uh, operations here are also from our family. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, the chefs, the waiters, the helpers, yeah. they were all personally chosen by my husband. We, uh, we, we were open to candidates come and visit us looking for a job uh, and that's how we uh, you know, chose our staff. But especially for the chefs which are the most important people in a restaurant, mm -hmm. those were particularly chosen, brought in from India, from Mumbai specifically, 
so their food was tasted by my own husband's brother yeah. and uh, because we all share the same uh, you know taste criteria so once he declared that he was happy with the uh, taste of certain chefs which which he tried in india we got those chefs from india there is not one person to name there are a lot of people uh the the most important people are the ones who are running the operations here at the restaurant who are our family and of course the staff the waiters the chefs the helpers everyone associated with the with the koila's restaurant mm -hmm. uh apart from that of course family friends uh we've had a lot of support lot of uh, good wishes and prayers and uh, yeah that's how we're surviving alhamdulillah Definitely I mean the whole point that we opened the restaurant business is because of my husband's passion and definitely if it's a passion there's no stop we would definitely want to go ahead but like I said we are still uh, kind of a baby in this industry but do we do have plans to develop further we do we have in fact uh, we are open for outside catering requests for meals you know people who want to sign up for monthly meals oh, executive sure. personal we are open to party orders uh, so yeah we we look forward to have more uh, diversification in the business in fact something that we would love to be is part of the food festivals in qatar that happen yeah. every year so we would definitely want to be part of those associations as well inshallah inshallah and uh, because of our in in uh, ramadan So there's something or any dish special in this month. So what we've done in Ramadan is uh, considering the whole idea of the Ramadan as as uh, you know uh, a month which is very important for Muslims. Uh, we are providing uh, combo meals, combo boxes mm -hmm. with some of our special items That's at a very reasonable price. and of course if there is uh, a request for bulk orders for uh, big orders uh, you know if people want to distribute uh, yeah. for their uh, you know for for blessings and for this month yeah. as charity we are open to further discussions and probably we can give much better pricing as well so If I can be very honest, I do not want to sugarcoat it. It's not easy, yeah. but uh, it's. I think it's always the will power and the strength and the experiences from your own life. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we were opening the business, when the idea came into our minds, we were expecting our third child. So the initial time itself was very hectic. Plus, yeah. we are a working couple. Both mm -hmm. uh, me and my husband, and my husband's brother, we are full time working uh, in corporate jobs. So managing that family and the business is definitely difficult but uh, there's always a way out if you're passionate about something if you're really determined for something there's always a way out and like i said the support of the friends the family the staff at the restaurant they've been very helpful in you know making us uh, progress on this journey exactly and uh, let's talk about the last year 12 months uh how's the last 12 months uh been like for you uh it has been a lot of ups and downs uh like i said when when the idea came to open a restaurant uh it was quite difficult uh, it was more challenging it maybe. was challenging considering we were working full time and due to uh, uh like we were expecting our third child as well oh, but uh Yeah, uh, we somehow managed. There was a lot of support. The initial few months were very difficult, uh, mm -hmm. but in fact, up until 
the opening of the restaurant which happened in September 2023 it was a very very hectic time yeah. once we opened up as well uh, the first month uh, in general how it is in Qatar anything new restaurant uh, anything new opens a new restaurant opens mm -hmm. so there's a lot of crowd wanting to come and try out so it was exciting it was challenging uh, and yeah, we've been doing pretty well so far. Especially the combination that you have here, like Asian, uh, Indian and Chinese. Yes, so yes. Yeah, we well, uh, we, we've, been, we've been hearing uh, our food, especially the Indo-Chinese food, yeah. is so far the best one in Qatar. Awesome. So we're very proud of the step that we've taken. So, uh, I'm, I'm born and raised in Qatar. I've seen Qatar develop from so nothing. Like local here. Almost, yeah. yeah. So, I've seen Qatar develop from nothing to so much. We've okay. seen, uh, you know, uh, industries in every way expand in Qatar. Uh, from restaurant industries, from events and tourism, exactly. sports. We, I think from the GCC countries, we've been the first country to host the FIFA 2022. Yeah. So, no matter what words the best, uh, the best part. exactly so no matter what words i use what i don't use it is very evident to the whole world and people of qatar how supportive the government is mm -hmm. how supportive the uh, guidance and leadership of his highness has been yeah. and uh, yes the royal family definitely is doing a really great job in developing a small nation like qatar finally i would like to thank uh, my uh, dear and special guest uh, simon uh, for having us and sharing